Castells, it's Emmeline. So I am back with a part two of this video. If you guys haven't seen the first one, then you definitely should watch that one first because I feel like it's a little bit different and more, I feel like I explain it maybe differently, I don't know. But I think it's a good idea to watch the other one first. But today is going to be the extra grant extra gram, extra glam, extra fabulous. Um, you guys really wanted me to wake up this morning with curlers in my hair, but I just have way too much hair. And I tried to do it um, the last time too, but the curlers just got stuck in my hair. I didn't have enough because I just have too much. So I wanted to thank you guys so much. The last housewife video has so many views. I did not expect that to happen. And it has made me so happy lately because Posting vintage videos makes me happy because it's like one of my favorite things ever. So the fact that you guys are actually liking these videos just makes me so overjoyed. Like I feel like I'm finally myself on camera and I'm just so happy. So I love you guys and thank you so much. Okay, so let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, so I thought I would show you my pajamas for the morning. So I have this little bed jacket on. It's just pink, it's really cute. Then underneath I have this really cute um, little top and then it has these shorts. Ah, so that's my outfit, so let's make the bed. I think I'll be super extra for the bed too and actually use a 1950s bedspread that I have. So the bed is made, so now it's time to do the workout routine. Like last time for the workout, I just did some stretches, so I'm just gonna do the same thing. I do have a pinup girl workout routine coming soon, so stay tuned for that on my channel probably next week. But now that the stretches are done, I'm going to go into the bathroom and freshen up super quick, then we need to put our face on. But before we do that, I just remembered we have to open up all the blinds and all the windows. If you guys haven't seen my original 1950s housewife video, then make sure you guys watch it because it, this a lot of this stuff will make more sense when you actually watch the video. Um, so basically, I got a 1950s housewife um, plan thing from this website called Jen But Never Jen. And um, she has like this whole list of everything you're supposed to do. So. I just kind of like follow along that routine. I think I'm gonna go away from it a little bit today and kind of like switch some things around just because um, after testing it out for a while now, I feel like I know what works, what doesn't work. Okay guys, so that was like a dramatic hair flip. But anyway, um, I just washed my face, brushed my teeth, all that good stuff. So now we're gonna do the makeup. You guys wanted me to do something a little bit more dramatic. So I'm gonna do that. I have a whole video on my channel of my vintage beauty collection, which you guys should definitely watch. I'll put that in the description box down below. But it's not really safe to put vintage makeup on your face because you don't, you don't know like what's in it and like the things that they used. So yeah. But anyway, I'm just gonna put um, the It Cosmetics Feel the Moment um, primer on. I actually already put this on. And then I use their CC cream. Beanie Cover FX Powder. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. NYX Dual Powder and just going in my brows. So for eyeshadow, I'm just going in with like this light color. I'm just gonna go all over my lid. Then I'm gonna take the Naked, it's called Naked 2, the color. And just go in my crease. Then I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm going in with the color Faint. So I'm gonna put some liner on and fake lashes, but I'm gonna turn the camera off for this because I'm literally gonna be this close to the mirror and it's just gonna be really awkward looking. Okay, so my lashes are on. So now that's all that is left to do is do some highlighter. This is literally my favorite highlighter. It's Moi by Alexandria. By the way, I just put like this really, um, tiny ring on um 
In the last video, I asked you guys about my grandma's ring and you guys were giving me so many opinions, like if I should keep it or not. Um, obviously way too big for me, so I'd at least have to get it resized. Uh, but yeah, okay, I'm not gonna talk while I do this because I'm gonna mess up, but this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Madrid. This is my favorite, favorite like dark lip color. Here is the final hair and makeup. Basically for the hair, I just curled um, all the pieces in last night, so it's not like super amazing. I might have to go over it, but I don't wanna have to use a curling iron because that's not um, very 50s-ish of me. I think I can deal with it, and maybe like I'll pin something back to be a little like. All right, but anyway, let's go. This vintage top I got when I went to the Country Living Fair. This is so see-through. Maybe I should put like a little slip on underneath this all. And like this is see-through too, so I had to put those shorts back on. Um, and then I got this skirt. Can you guys see the bottom? Um, so this is a skirt I got from the antique store. Um, this was so inexpensive. This was only 15. It was a lot cheaper than the dress. So I will probably keep this because I have a video idea, Audrey Hepburn-ish, that I want to do with this. My cabinet here, I have like tons of vintage jewelry and everything like that. So I think I'm going to grab some stuff to pair with this just to make it look a little extra. I was also thinking I could wear this sweater too. Let me show you guys. This sweater is like a little bit lighter and it's really, really cute. Has tons of sparklies on it. I always forget, like when I get to this part of like the day, I'm like, oh my gosh, we haven't even eaten breakfast. Like we still have to do all that. But this is, how cute is it? It's, I got this at an antique shop. I'm gonna use this purse. I haven't done a vintage purse collection yet, but my mom, ever since I was little, she started me on a vintage purse collection. So this is one of my favorites. So I think I'm gonna wear this today. Then I have, have this. This one actually is vintage, so I might do this one. And then I have a cute little pin. Oh, I forgot earrings, let me go grab them. I have these earrings, I think that these are really cute. But of course they're clip-ons, so it's gonna be kind of hard to wear since I have my ears pierced. And then I wanted to go full out, so I have the little petty cash um, <laughs> container, which I'll put all my money in and put that in the purse. I put the earrings on. I put this necklace on. I decided not to go with a pin. Oh, I still need to put a slip on because this is so see-through. The earrings hurt so bad. Oh my gosh, I wanna take them off really badly. Okay, I wanted to address the whole thing with Connor and why he's not in the videos. So obviously I really want Connor to be in the videos and play my husband, but he has a really important full-time job and it's just like, the job that he has, he shouldn't be like out there on the internet. I don't even know if that makes sense. I know it sounds kind of weird. Maybe it sounds like kind of sketchy. We're just gonna leave it at that. But anyway, we need to go make breakfast for the husband that we don't have. <laughs> okay guys, so I tried to take the earrings off because they were like really, really hurting my ears. But I just threw one of my vintage aprons on. It's super adorable and I was just about to start making coffee and I remembered you guys told me I have to wear heels the entire day today. So I'm putting on these like little vintage looking heels. Um, you guys were all asking about these in my last video. Um, I had them in the link. I had them linked in the description box, but people never check the description box and I always have like all my outfits and everything there and then I get so many questions about it. So make sure you guys check the description box of this video because I will have these links. Connor actually got these for me for my birthday. I've never seen them before and I never like asked him for them but one year he just got me like all of these like vintage dresses, aprons, and he got me these shoes and it was just like the best birthday present ever. All right, okay, here I go, I'm gonna get tall. Oh, it's so weird. Let's start off with some coffee. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make coffee, like last time, and this is an old percolator. This is what a lot of people um, use back then. They also use the glass ones that go on the stove, which I have, but I honestly just like using this one better. Wait, how cute is this little vintage um, uh, cover for the coffee pot? My mom found that for me at a garage sale, and I think it's just the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna make 
make oatmeal for breakfast. So I'm gonna let that cook, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in it too, just because I like cinnamon in my oatmeal. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> uh, so I just realized that that was not recording, and I like started to eat already, but um, so basically, I put my oatmeal in the bowl, I cut up some apples, poured the coffee, have some sugar, some water, and yeah. Um, I'm holding Wilbur because I feel like I haven't been home a lot lately, so I just wanna be with my baby. Oh, you're so cute at Wilbur. Everybody loves you so much. Yeah. All the comments are all about Willie. <laughs> all right, so um, my dad got me this adorable cookbook from the 50s. Um, this is called the American Family Cookbook. I think we're gonna make some eggplant parm and then cherry pie. And then I wanna make like another side dish, but I don't really know what, <laughs> Wilbur's just like hanging. I don't really know what to make for another side dish and I'll probably do salad. Um, I was actually thinking of going to my parents' house to do this because first of all, they actually have a stove. It's either from the 40s or 50s um, so I thought that would be kind of fun for the video. And also you guys were saying that I needed to prepare food for someone. And since, wow, Tigger looks so angry right now. He's giving me this dirty look. But um, since Connor can't be in the video, I feel like at least like making food for my parents would be good because then it's like, I'm actually cleaning up for more people and preparing for people and stuff like that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. <laughs> Stop me, I scared you. I am gonna take you guys antique shopping after we clean the house. So I think that's gonna be really, really fun. I'm gonna just keep eating breakfast and then I'm gonna read my devotional. This is the Jesus Calling devotional. So I'm almost done with breakfast. I'm just finishing up my coffee. We're just gonna clean the dishes and everything like that. Um, and, <gasps> Oh my god, the house phone's ringing. You guys, you guys know how excited I get whenever people call my house. I really hope it's not a solicitor. All right, let's see. Hello? Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So that was my mom and um, she said that she has everything that, like everything else that I don't have, which was just the eggplant and the cherries. So that's perfect. So now we don't have to go grocery shopping. So that makes me really happy because I was not excited for grocery shopping today. So I guess we just have to clean the house and then I'm gonna take you guys antique shopping, but technically it's really not antique shopping in the 50s, it's normal shopping. Um, but yeah, okay, this is exciting. <gasps> Willie, what do you think? We're gonna put some music on. We just finished cleaning, or putting the dishes away. So now what we have to do is clean the whole house. My feet actually already are in pain. Um, and it feels really hard to like clean the house and to just get things done, oh sorry, um, just to get things done with heels on because I feel like I'm trying to walk very quietly so I don't like, not quietly, but like walk very softly so I don't like make dents in the floor. So it's just taking things so long because normally I would just be like boom, 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 like all over the house, but instead I'm like tiptoeing everywhere. <laughs> Most women when they clean the house, they kind of wore like these bandanas, but they wore them like with all of their hair tucked into it. Um, but remember they had really short hair back then like most of them had like this length that may be the longest and You guys see how long my hair is my hair is like past at my hips a little past it and I have so much hair So I have tried so many times to get my hair into One of those little cute things. It just doesn't work. There's too much of it. So we're just doing the bandana for today Look 
with this. How cute would that be of a picture? Ooh. <sighs> Christmas music is the most relaxing thing in the whole world to me. The last thing I have to do is vacuum. My camera died again. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so I've been cleaning for a very long time. It's actually already two o'clock and I don't think I even have time to eat lunch, which it actually says in the thing. Um, it says most housewives didn't even have time for lunch. So let's finish vacuuming, then we will get ready to go antique shopping. Okay, you guys, I have my little hat on. How cute is this? Wait, how adorable is this? Some cat eye glasses, I got these from Amazon. How cute are these? They have like little flowers all over them. I think that they are just so adorable. Oh my gosh, I'm so over the top today. Okay, my alarm I just turned on. This is so hard to do with gloves though. Bye Tiggy, bye Tiggy. Okay, this is gonna be really hard because this is like super slippery. Okay, we're good? Locked. Good, let's go. Oh, yeah, I can't walk in heels. I could not get the hat to stay to my head. It kept falling off, so I just took it off. Okay, you guys, we are at the antique shop. I'm so excited. I love vintage shopping so much, so this is going to be so much fun, and yeah, let's go. I'm so excited, like I'm being so overly happy right now. This is so annoying probably for you guys. Oh well. It's been like two seconds in the store and I've already gotten like my up and down looks of this outfit. So it's okay. But there's so much stuff in here. <gasps> I'm so happy. It's a little different, but it looks so similar. So far, I found this really cute top. I think it says $3 on it, which is like super cheap, but I thought it was just so gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna get this. But look at these mirrors. <gasps> I'm nervous my slip keeps like popping up. I don't want to like flash people. <laughs> Ooh, I see a wedding veil. Oh my gosh, wow. Look at that, it's amazing. This place is so big, it's just like a vintage lover's dream. They have like over 40 vendors here. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these chairs these are amazing oh my gosh it probably shouldn't get another vintage phone but look at this one this is so cute it's like so glamorous I feel like you guys I just turned a corner and the first thing I see is this doll so I'm going in oh my gosh this is so cute You guys, this room is perfect. How cute. These boxes up here are so adorable. <gasps> you guys. It's a bra. This is what I needed for this video. The cups look way too big for me, but. <laughs> this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at all of this. Wow, this is gorgeous. It's actually kind of funny because like I'm shopping antiques right now, but if we were actually in the 50s, this would be like all new clothes. This is cute. Okay, so this is the glorious antique shop. This is called High Park Antique Center. It is amazing. Today, ooh! Okay, so today they had this whole new section. My bag is, I'm going towards the wrong car. I just literally just walked towards a Jeep thinking it's my car, but I forgot I have my mom's car. Did I tell you guys that? I think I did. <laughs> and lady, she has like a new section upstairs. Um, her name's Monica. So if you guys live by here um, and you go to the High Park Antique Center, ask for Monica's section. She wasn't here today, but 
the guy showed me it and it was like amazing that's the one section i showed you guys with like everything that was so cute like i said before i have to wear these down low because it looked really weird like that so like i said before in the last video um normally if i was an actual 1950s housewife i would have kids so i would have to walk to school bring them to school in the morning and then get them when they come home so i don't have to do that so you know being a 1950s housewife i feel like a lot of people think it's like so easy to be a housewife like oh all you do is stay at home all day and you're just like lazy like a lot of people were commenting in the last video like i would love to be a housewife i'm so lazy so it'd be the perfect job for me but i don't know why people like think that being a housewife is lazy because it's literally so much work so so yeah but i'm sweating right now because it was so hot in there so i gotta turn on the air go home and cook some food for our fabulous husband that we don't have <laughs> all right so i am back home i wanted to show you guys a closer view of the shirt this is what it looks like it's very see-through so i'm not really sure what to wear under it but for three dollars like how could you pass it up i really wasn't planning on getting anything but i mean three dollars for this it's so cute okay dolls so now that we are back from antique shopping um we need to freshen up our look a little bit because we are going to have a dinner party so i'm very excited so basically i'm just gonna freshen up my makeup because this is what they did um after a long day of cleaning they would freshen up their makeup and they would normally put on something a little bit more fancier when their husband um right before their husband gets home so that's what i'm gonna do but since i'm bake or cooking and baking at my parents house i'm gonna leave this outfit on right now that i have and then when i'm done um cooking i'm gonna change the outfit so just for now i'm just gonna freshen up freshen up i can't talk i'm like talking so fast um i'm gonna freshen up my makeup my feet are in so much pain from cleaning and for those of you who are gonna be like they didn't even wear heels while they cleaned i know people who actually wore heels while they while they cleaned and I actually had a ton of stay-at-home moms tell me that they literally live life like the 50s and they wear heels like while they clean all day long and they have no problem with it. All right, so right now I am just going to pack up the car because I have tons of stuff to bring to my parents. So I'm in the car and we're going to go to my parents' house right now. Oh my gosh, this day has just been like me running around like a crazy psycho. What? It's okay because I'm a happy housewife, right guys? Right? <laughs> okay, my dolls, we are at my parents' house. And if you guys haven't ever seen any of my vintage videos, I put their stove in it a few times, but look at this stove. It is like just a vintage beauty. It is so beautiful. They wanted me to like explain what I was doing while I cook. So basically, the first step to making eggplant parm is to just cut up the eggplant. Some milk you guys can use any type of milk you want and then here I have some breadcrumbs I'm just gonna put the breadcrumbs on this plate now what we do is take the eggplant and put it in here and this is just olive oil alrighty so once these start to brown um, like that one then we can take them off I'm just gonna flip these over quick the eggplant and I'm just gonna put it at the bottom of the pan I take this sauce and I'm going to just pour it over this first layer take some cheese and sprinkle it on top once again vegans just get um, plant-based cheese okay so the next layer of uh, eggplant is down so now we're gonna put more tomato sauce and more cheese on it all the dishes and the eggplant is coming along but now it's time to go into the cookbook and find the recipe for the cherry pie oh my 
my gosh. Always scaring me. It calls for two containers of cherries. So I'm just gonna add these in. Since the top crust didn't work, I'm just gonna put a little heart on top and now I'm going to pop it in the oven and start to eat dinner. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, you can't even like see it that well in this mirror, but <gasps> this outfit, you guys, this is just the cutest thing ever. And it's cold, so that's why I have the little jacket on, but oh my gosh, this is so cute. Feeling like a fabulous housewife, ready for my husband to come home. So this is a dress. And like I said, I may put this on eBay. If this dress just fits like so good, fits the booty nice, perfect. And then this, this is just so adorable. I am loving this look. I wish I wore this out today. <laughs> I want to wear this every day of my life. This is so cute. Okay, I'm starving. Okay guys, here is dinner. I have the eggplant already on. Then here I have some heated rolls and I wanted to make a salad, but I was bad housewife. Good, my dad said it's the best he's had in a long time. Eat more. This is my little princess. Aww. Said she's so beautiful. And I said that I didn't know better. I think I was back 50 years in time, back in the 1950s so and funny. 60s. I know, all this stuff. Beautiful. Thank you. Such a good cook, Emzy. Thank you. Come here. You learned it from your mama. Sure. Did you have a roll? I didn't. I don't really. I'm not in the mood for bread right now. Look at him. Oh, a housewife went through this. <laughs> oh. oh. And what do you want, buddy? <laughs> Okay, so I'm done eating, so now it is time to clean everything up, and I have to wash all the dishes, and then the cherry pie should be done soon. So I am just drying the dishes right now, and my back is in so much pain from wearing these heels. I feel like I just, right now, it's like so much more intense this housewife routine if you wear heels. Like right now, I just wanna go home, I wanna take a shower and go into bed and put slippers on. I am in so much pain. I already have a really bad back, so I just think this was such a bad idea of me to wear heels all day. So, ugh. And you are supposed to, when your husband comes home, you're supposed to like give him like a magazine or something to read. Um, I just forgot to film it, but I, I brought my dad the devotional that I showed you guys earlier because I got two of them just in case somebody else wanted one. So I gave it to him. So he was just reading that and yeah. Okay, let's go clean because I'm like literally delirious. I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep right now. Guys, look at this pie. Oh wait, this would be such a cute picture. Hold on. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. So I'm gonna cut it, I'm so scared. Let's see, oh, that looks cute too. You guys, I have no words for this. Literally, this pie crust was the worst pie crust ever. I I couldn't even cut it, like it's not even cuttable. The pie. This is not a housewife standard. It's actually pretty good. I think if I just use the other crust recipe, or if this actually does harden when it's cool, I think it'll be fine. I am home. I am super tired right now. Um, so it's not even that I'm tired, like I'm actually like pretty awake, but I just feel like I really just want to take a shower and like get out of these clothes. I think like just wearing the heels today did me in. I just took them off and like I feel like I cannot even walk normal right now. Right now I'm going to get ready for bed. So I'm gonna shower, take off my makeup, and then I will catch up with you guys for the next day. All right. Oh, is that your girlfriend? You see your girlfriend, Millie? Oh, you love her, she's pretty. You look so cute together. All right, so 
now I am in bed. I have my makeup off. I have done everything I need to do for bed. So the last time around, I was reading Nancy Drew books before I fell asleep, but today I am just super tired. But anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. So I will see you dolls when I wake up and we will go from there. Okay, vintage dolls, so it is now the next morning and I just realized, like in the last clip I showed you guys, I had a bun in my hair, which was so not 1950s-ish. I didn't even realize my hair was in a bun because I had just washed my, my face. So I like put my hair in a bun, washed my face, and like was in bed. And then after I was like, oh, wait. So I put my hair in braids last night and I just woke up, so my hair is still a little messy from last night. But anyway, so I just wanted to talk about this experience. This time around was definitely a lot different from last time. I expected it to be a lot easier because I've actually been doing the housewife routine, not like the full thing, but for the most part, like now when I wake up, I do um, just like start making breakfast or just sneeze. Like I said earlier, I was getting tons of comments in the last video from stay at home moms. And a lot of them said that they actually follow a 1950s housewife routine. A lot of them actually wear heels all day. And I was just like so blown away. I think it's so awesome that people are still doing this. And a lot of girls actually my age were saying that they've already talked to their boyfriends about it. And they said like if they're financially stable once they get married, then like they're like the girls are going to stay home while the husband goes to work. I think it's so cool that a lot of young people are really into this too. I know for me, Ever since I was really, really young, I've always wanted to do a 1950s housewife. I was actually looking at my old computer the other day and I had like a whole like bookmarks tab just with like 1950s housewife routines on it. So I think it is really funny because I'm just like the same person. But, but anyway, thank you to all of you stay at home moms. I really do appreciate you guys. And I think a lot of people do. I think it's so amazing that stay at home moms do all of this stuff all day long, every single day. And it's a ton of work and I feel like they don't get enough credit. But anyway, before I start rambling for an hour, this video is already so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys would like another version of this, like a Christmas one or something like that, then be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are all having a lovely day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.